day here in this garage, me and my team, Austin and Shamar, we work on McLarens. We have a passion for them, but usually we're taking care of someone else's car. But today we're going to do something different. Behind me, I have my own personal MP412C. This is a very early 2012 car. And if you've ever seen a YouTube internet video about these things, usually someone's screaming, oh my gosh, look how much money I spent. It's broken, there's a problem. And there is some truth to some of those things. We're going to go through the entire car front to rear. We're gonna find all the problems. We're gonna address the ones that are currently in need of addressing, or we're going to proactively take care of the ones that are going to come up in the future. We're going to demystify the whole thing, and that sounds a little boring. Oh, we're going to fix the car. We're actually going to do some other stuff too. We're going to turn up the power. We're going to take this car, and with just some simple bolt-ons, we're going to make it really close to a thousand horsepower. I want to go fast. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to learn a lot about the car along the way, things that I didn't even know when I bought the car. Hey, it happens. You never know what the previous owners did. But join us. Let's see what we find and uh, have a couple of laughs too. Just to, just to talk a little bit about some of the things we will work on on the car. We're going to address oil leaks, coolant clamps, sometimes electrical gremlins, Cam phasers, this one's a, a really uh, one that most people worry about. Cam phasers, not that big a deal. We'll go through that. We're going to do the driveline dampener. We're going to put bigger turbos on. We're going to do tuning by M Engineering. We're going to do bigger intercoolers, fuel injectors. Gosh, uh, somewhere along the way, we're going to do some fun stuff like LED RGB lighting. We're going to do some front and rear radar laser jammer type stuff. Uh, wow, it's just, the list goes on and on and on. We're going to have a lot of fun, so maybe some of those items are ones you're concerned about that you'd like to know more about. Stick around, you're going to learn. Okay, so we're starting to disassemble the 12C. I want to show you a couple of things that we know are common issues. We're going to address these issues while we're doing the work, and this way you'll know when you're looking at one, what should you be worried about. So just a nice comparison, this is the muffler we were just talking about in the sport exhaust, it has the H-pipe here, this is all McLaren OEM, that's the coupe sport exhaust, the difference is the muffler, that's it. Alright, let's talk about some of the common issues that we want to discover, resolve, make sure, or prevent, even if it's not an issue. Coolant clamps, this is a great place, you can see two of them. One here, one on the other side of this. These are the original style clamps. They are known to swell, allow the coolant to leak slowly. The way you know it's leaking, because the car will never tell you. Open the radiator cap. After you know you filled it up, you've driven the car maybe a couple hundred miles. If you're losing coolant, and mine's dry, you've got a leak. So somewhere we're going to find a leak in the system. We're going to replace all these clamps proactively. And right here on top of the radiator, there's a couple clamps there. They're known to leak there. Again, we'll replace all those. And now let's go look under the car, see what we can see there. So now we're under the car. We've got the belly pans off under the engine and also under the transmission. Here we want to look for leaks. We can see already some oil residue on the front of the engine uh, cover. The front main seal has been leaking on this car. No problem, we'll put a new one in while we're in here. It looks like we've got an active leak right on the oil pump. And this is not a gasket that can be replaced. Either you replace the whole pump or you live with it. Mm. We'll have to make some tough decisions. Um, I'm looking at the coolant clamps. Again, we've got the original style coolant clamp here. It's never been changed. Over here, same thing. On the water pump, you can see these smaller clamps. They're all original, never been changed. And it's real common for the water pump to leak right here from the front. Right there. There's a freeze plug, that's common, no problem. This plug's dry, this freeze plug's dry. So 
what I'm assessing, what I'm seeing is this car's never been touched. Nobody's ever done any maintenance or update to the clamps, the coolant clamps, the front main seal, which is common to leak. Also, we want to make sure these, uh, these large oil tubes that go to the sump tank are not leaking. They look good. We're going to drop the engine and we're going to see even more at that point. We'll be able to assess everything. And then, of course, we want to look back here at the transmission. This is where the filters go. They're dry. Someone serviced this one. There's actually some silicone or something around that. That's not what we want. We want to take that out and put a new filter in. Replace it. Um, the weep holes are dry. This is the weep hole everybody's afraid of right here. Nothing wrong with this one. It's real easy to fix though. If it does leak on your car, just tap it and plug it. Fill the fluid again. All right, and there is one more weep hole right in here. Nobody even knows about that one. We do and we watch for it. Everything in the back looks good. Transmission looks dry everywhere else. The CV axles aren't leaking. So really the common things that we're gonna address are gonna be all internal for this engine. Let's get it out.
you enjoy that? No. <laughs> well, it's what we do every day. <laughs> I tried to tell them. known as supercar uh, before we do any kind of modifications to any of these motors what we would like to do is a health check so what we're going to do here we're going to take the oil filter we're going to take it out and we're going to go over on the table over there and cut it open to make sure there are no metal shavings in the oil filter if there is then we got some internal problems going on but we like to uh, cut them open make sure there's no no shavings in the filter before we go and bolt on more uh, upgraded power parts. And assemble the respective parts. What parts? What parts? Different parts. Parts is parts. Yeah, seriously. OSHA violation. Warning, do not do this at home. <laughs> at your own risk. Five hours later. So now we're nearing the end here. We got our filter cut apart. What we're gonna do is we're going to, now we're all loose, we're going to cut this down the middle here. And we're going to flare this filter out. Spread it open. And you can see we have some tiny little flakes here and there, which indicates that we possibly have a, a failing cam phaser, which we are replacing. So as you can see, just little flakes. But that's what the filter is supposed to do, catch all this shavings instead of pulling it through the motor. Okay guys, so we've taken the oil pump off of the car here. And we guys, we always check these these baskets, three baskets in the oil pump, as as said earlier. So we wanted to see what was in here, but not anything too crazy. But you guys see what happens when the factory, even factory, put too much RTV on the on these front timing covers. Here, they all just get sucked up in, into the baskets. But that's what the baskets are made for. So we just got RTV, we don't have any kind of metal shavings or anything in, inside of this oil pump here, which means we're pretty clear. But as a comparison to a bad oil pump or a motor that has blown up, over here, Austin. these are what baskets look like on a blown up motor. You see they're filled with metal shavings. We even got chunks of metal here from the block. Just, they were all in the baskets here, so. Baskets catch a lot of the majority of the debris that goes through the motor here. Thankfully, Kevin's going with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so we get to open it up. This is a. Uh, this is kind of what I'm waiting on. I, I, it's exciting. I, we know it's just the same computer we just sent out. What's really cool is I can overnight this. Well, it looks like the Duke boys just sent it, and that's what we're going to do with this ECU. We're going to send it, and we're going to ask you to click on the next video. Send it into the next. We're going to have fun just like the Duke boys. See you soon.